All right, so while this is gonna be draining, I feel like for a while, I'm going to uh, start pulling out the old motor. All right, I figured I'd show everybody what's probably in here. This is the oil pan, and that is straight water. Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard to do this with one hand. Let me switch. But yeah, straight water so far. I imagine some milky stuff's about to come out. Or maybe there's no oil in there at all. It's just uh, coolant. Oh yeah, here it comes. Nice and clean, it's not milky. So obviously, he already changed the oil and then try to start it up again and just... Okay. Yep, that's straight water. <laughs> I wonder why the motor locked up. Anyways, back to it. I lost the plug and this thing is starting to uh, fill up. So I had to go fishing for it, that's so why my hands are all dirty, but it's nice and milky now. It's very uh, thick. It goes thick and then thin. Here I am fumbling around trying to get this motor and transmission out. I know that is not the correct angle to take a motor out, but uh, I was working with what I had. I did not have the correct engine plate to get this thing out, but uh, I did not let it beat me and I was victorious. All right, so I made that way harder than I probably should have been. I should have left the heads on, uh, so I could have grabbed the header bolts in the back. That way it wouldn't have been so back heavy, but whatever, uh, it's on some dollies. Now I gotta get some scrap guy to come pick this up. So I don't have clutter in my garage, because as you can see, there's enough going on. I don't need that laying around. I also gotta take the rear end out tonight, so. Fun, fun, fun. All right, guys, I just uh, bolted out the oil pan. Um, and I wanted to kind of go over uh, the motor mounts that I picked for the car and why I picked them. Um, also, this oil pan, uh, it looks like it's pretty good. It's a Summit Racing oil pan. It is a knockoff of the Canton Racing um, Road Race uh, LS pan. I know that because I have that pan uh, and I swapped it back over to my car because I have all my lines and uh, uh, power uh, uh, oil cooler lines uh, already set up for that pan so I swapped that one over. One thing nice about this, it holds seven quarts so that's a you know a big big plus. Um, as far as motor mounts go, uh, I went with a Vorschlag um, motor mounts they are really really nice and i'm happy i went with these so initially i was going to go with these ella swap plates for the previous generation mustang a lot of people use these uh because they're cheap i think this is like you know uh you get these plates and uh it's like 50 bucks but the issue is these only uh, mount up to the uh, gt uh, 4.6 uh, um, mounts so I don't have those mounts I have the v6 ones and they do not uh, mount up to this and another issue with this uh, not all the holes actually line up so on one side you'll get three bolts the other side you'll get two so you have to you know modify it to get at least three uh, some people just run two, you know whatever whatever you want to do I guess um, another issue that people I've noticed have is that the motor uh, is on the driver's side a little bit to the uh, maybe about a half inch over too much so um, these eliminate that is going to be in perfect alignment I also ordered their um, transmission mount 
they make it for a T56 Magnum XL. Obviously, I'm using a CD009. I am going to modify it to work. I figured, uh, you know, I didn't really want to get into uh, making a uh, transmission mount. I have so much stuff I have to do. I have to swap the rear end still. I have to do the suspension. By the way, I got the suspension, and I'll show that to you in a little bit. Um, I, I got to swap this whole motor. I got to wire the car. Um, I got to get my RX-7 on the dyno. I went there today, and everyone was sick with COVID, so I couldn't get it dynoed. So there's a lot going on. I got to get exhaust on this. I got to get a dry shaft on this. So the last thing I need to do is spend hours and hours uh, trying to get the proper alignment and angle for the dry shaft to go to the rear end. They've already done it for me, and it's worth the money, I, I feel. So I'm going to take this off the stand and then uh, put the fly flywheel and pressure plate on and clutch and then bolt it to the transmission. I think Alex is going to get a lot of uh, time and a lot of fun, a lot of smiles out of this uh, motor and car. So I can't wait to see his face uh, when we give it to him. All right, guys, so uh, before I put the uh, flywheel clutch and pressure plate on, I have to get the pilot bearing out of the crank. Uh, there are certain pullers that you can get that will do it really quick, uh, but there's a cheap way to do it uh, without having to buy an expensive tool. So you basically just get a bolt that fits snug into the pilot bearing, okay, like that, and... You get some bread. And what you do is you take the bread and stick it in there. I know this sounds really stupid, but what happens is the more you press, the more space it takes up. So when you can't press any more in, you take your bolt and you hammer it in. And so basically what you're doing is you're creating a hydraulic, um, pr well, I'm not sure really hydraulic, but it's pushing pressure. Every time I pound that, that uh, bolt in, and it displaces the area where the uh, bearing is, and eventually that bearing is going to start pressing out. a little bit I can feel it coming out of the crank a little bit already so just keep pushing and keep hitting all right so the uh, bolt wasn't as tight as I needed it to be um, so put a little bit more tape on just get it thick enough Test it out. Is you want it as tight as possible. There you go. That way the bread's not really coming out as you hit because that kind of defeats the purpose. Oh yeah, it's coming now. more bread almost there obviously this ruins the bearing but you're doing this to put a new one in so if you think you'd be able to reuse this bearing in another motor yeah, they're cheap. Let's go buy a new one. So two pieces of bread seems to be uh, doing the trick. So your wife won't be really upset with you when you waste all the bread. 
is you're only taking a sandwich worth. It's almost out. And there's the bearing. So now I just gotta get all that. Uh, all that um, bread out, but yeah, I got the bearing out, so I can put the new one in. All right, it's about one o'clock in the morning. I am beat. I am going to go to bed. I finally got the transmission hooked up to the engine. I had a couple issues along the way. I had a make one of the holes for the pressure plate bigger because it was off alignment. Not that big of a deal just you know small tedious stuff and then getting that transmission made to that engine was kicking my butt it took me about an hour and a half um, I've never had an issue getting a transmission and an engine together as bad as that one but it's together and uh, tomorrow the engine and transmission will be going in along with the, the new rear end um, and then I have to measure for a new dry shaft and call the place and let them know the measurements that way uh, they can get that ordered because um, or made I should say that way uh, because it takes about a week to get in so uh, I'm you know really tight on time so it's gonna be down to the wire like always <laughs> but um, I think I'm gonna be able to get it done okay good night